In today's video, we're gonna take on the challenge of summoning perfectly ultimate great moth. Can we do it? And the most important question is, can it actually win? Without further ado, wow! Let's begin. Guys, wait, wait, wait. Before we get started with today's video, if you guys want to help support the channel, make sure to visit the Duanai Patreon in the link description box below. You guys get early access to all Duanai episodes, the ultimate losers match, best two out of three finals, and so much more. Guys, literally, Patreon has the best Duanai content possible. Thank you guys so much for your support, and I'll catch you guys on the Patreon. What is Duanai YouTube? It's your boy Sam from Team Samurai X. When you're happy, Tuesday, mm. Wednesday, mm. In today's video, we're going to take on the impossible task on trying to summon perfectly ultimate great moth, one of Weevil's ace monsters. So if you guys are not familiar with this card right here, there's great moth and there's perfectly ultimate great moth. These cards are pretty cool, but the thing about them is that they're basically impossible to summon. If you read both their effects, perfectly ultimate great moth says that must first be special summoned from your hand by tributing one petite moth on your sixth turn or later after it was equipped with cocoon of evolution. If you think Yu-Gi-Oh lasts six turns, <laughs> you, you, you must be playing in a different dimension, bro. You, 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 are you even playing Yu-Gi-Oh? Six turns? And next, we got Great Moth. Instead of six turns, you have to wait four or more turns to summon this bad boy uh, right here. And then we got Cocoon of Evolution. Yeah, this card. Um, yeah, good luck thinking Petite Moth is going to survive six turns, buddy. Good luck. That's why it's super duper hard to actually bring these cards out in the original way on how Konami has designed for this insect archetype. But now it's 2022 with the codes, the programming through Kyber Corp. Cocoon of Ultra Evolution. Ah! All right, guys, here we have it. This is the insect deck that I designed right here for Weevil strategy. I think this deck is absolutely insane. What you're trying to do is using Weevil's new strategy, Parasite Paranoid. This card, what it does is that you can target a monster on the field, equip this card to that monster, and that monster automatically becomes an insect. This card is a two card combo with Parasite Paranoid and also Cocoon of Ultra Evolution. This card reads that you can tribute one insect monster from either field equipped with an equip card, basically tribute it, and then special summon an insect monster directly from the deck, ignoring its summon condition. For this video, I wanna try my best to summon out perfectly ultimate great moth, uh, of course, using Parasite Paranoid to tag off alongside the Kakuna Ultra Evolution. This deck is really good. It's a really awesome insect-based deck. I think it's really, really fast, especially with Giant Ballpark. You could easily ult your opponent with this card right here, summoning the, the Black Sea Squatter. Also, at the same time, this deck searches Max C like no tomorrow, because Retaliating Sea can search Max C, and of course, uh, right here, right now, Goki Pole can also search Retaliation C and also search your Resonance Insect as well. And I cannot wait to send everybody to the Shadow Realm with this deck right here. Oh, guys, I'm tackling every single anime deck here on Master Duel. So if you have any suggestions on what you guys want to see, let me know in the comments below, guys. I love to hear your suggestions, your thoughts. Leave your comments away. Smash the thumbs up button. Let's get this video to 4,000 plus likes for the next anime video. It's going to be absolutely insane. Without further ado, let's hop into Master Duel and see if we can actually win with the ultimate ultimate great mod strategy here we go i'm super excited for this oh my god skill drain resonance insect cocoon of ultra evolution we can actually do something with this okay we're just gonna set resonance insect let's get skill drain pass skill drain is gonna carry us to absolute victory victory all right guys here we go oh despia i love a despia wow okay i'm good with this draw for turn Oh, I'm down for this, guys. I'm, I'm going to go with Giant Ballpark. I'm just going to flip Resonance Insect. I'm going to do Shiny Black Sea Squatter Beatdown, baby. Here we go. And we're going to make Baguska pass against um against this deck. Oh, it's GG no re. We also got Retaliating Sea in our hand as well, which is amazing. We're going to go Resonance Insect Attack. Uh, nope, we're going to activate Giant Ballpark Effect to just protect it. You know what I'm saying? Use Ballpark's ability. We're going to dump Shiny Black Sea Squatter to the graveyard. And we're going to special summon it. Yes, special summon all three. Ha uh, ha ha, it's a Max C squad. It's the Max C squad. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Max C squad, 6,000 damage. Yes, sir. Attack. Attack, come on. Something good. Please. 6K damage to the face is a lot. This is the next level wheel strategy here. This is a lot of damage. A lot, a lot of damage. All right, main phase twa. Uh, we're going to go, of course. Link into Insector. Panilica. Panilica. Pan, 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 uh, pa, pa, okay. Uh, we're going to activate, of course, Pina, Pina Colada. Chain Link 1. Let's take Doom Nuzo to the grave. Screw that. Oh, we're going to select this. Okay. We're going to activate, of course, Resonance Insects effect. 
Okay, cool. There we go. We're gonna, like, we can shovel all these three back to the deck, which is insane. Uh, and then we'll make Baguska. Okay. Pinot Caladia. Uh, we're gonna, of course, add... Oh, we're gonna add the Great Moth to our hand. <laughs> Pico Finalia. Uh, we're gonna equip a monster. Um, we can equip... Yeah. Into here. Amazing. And now we're gonna go... This is gonna be awesome because we're gonna make... Oh, guys. We can make Baguska. And then summon Ultimate Great Moth. And we can actually activate Pina Colada's effect. Actually, we're gonna shuffle one, two, th shuffle three into the deck. Draw one. Oh, Foolish Berry was amazing. Phenomenal. Okay. You know what, guys? I think right here, this is completely fine. Um, if we go Baguska now, Ultimate Great Moth summons itself. It will be switched to defense. Next turn, I can switch to attack and just kill your opponent instantly right away. Um, I think that's that might be the strategy, guys. Uh, but we also got retaliating C as well. Honestly, I don't think we have a, a, anything to worry about here. Honestly, just... Okay, you know what? Let's just... You know, just for the sake of it, let's just go. Let's just go. Okay, you know, you know what? I feel like the squatter is a little bit more strong. Let's keep the squatter up and then this is pretty much it. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's just keep the max C. Let's keep it strictly insect. You know? Let's keep it insect beat down, okay? Let's do that. Can our opponent beat this board? Do not scoop. Oh, fallen Albaz. Chains children. Oh, oh, whoops! It's okay. We got skill drain. I'm, I'm, I'm cool with that. You can, you, you, you can maxing me. Special summon, of course, the queen, insect queen. Beat that. Skill drain. Yes. Negate. Activate parasites effect. Summon perfectly ultimate great moth. Draw all you want. I don't care. It is game. Foolish burial. Good. Do what you need to do. Yes, yeah, send tragedy. Search whatever you need to search. Yes, sir. Next turn is a wrap, baby. Yeah, sure. Say what do you need to set, please. I'll use ballpark's effect. Especially on both these bad boys. <laughs> Oh yeah, I am under maxi. Totally forgot that. Totally forgot I'm under maxi. Yes, get her to Pico de Gallo. I'm cool with that. I'm really cool with Pico de Gallo leaving. Oh, jeez Louise. Okay. You can't be the great bot! Oh, this hand is looking scrumptious. Activate Primitive Butterfly. Dash summon her. I'm gonna activate Ballpark. Now nah, I'm just gonna end my turn. That's pretty much it. Here we go. It's the it's 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 the the Flying Ski Squatter Squadron coming to you guys very very soon. The Ballpark is gonna help me win the game. Okay, please Ballpark. Can you beat Giant Ballpark? This card is so good, so good. Oh, Alistair, what a loser. Alistair to make Makaba. Mekaba. Okay, to add it back to the hand. I'm gonna activate this to just bait it out. You could parasite paranoid. Cause I just want giant ballpark to resolve, to be honest. Baited. Aha, let's go, baby. It's the maxi squad. It's the maxi squad. Okay, guys, here we go. The maxi squad is here, baby. We can do this. We can do this. Double summon. A second. What? Okay. Oh, you meant to normal summon Alistair. What a loser. He meant to normal summon Alistair, but he activated his effect. <laughs> Let's make a Baguska. Baguski boy. Baguski. Baguski dooski. Bagus. Baru, baru, baru. Baru. Maru, maru, maru. Yes, I'll switch it to defense. Now I'll make Pico the Gaio. Activate Pulse effect. I'm gonna Ash Blossom this. Makes no sense. Okay. I'll activate Pico the Gaio. I'll enter battle phase. I'll just attack with this. So I can use ballpark. I will send. If this card is sent from the if this card is sent from the graveyard, no, that's not good. Uh, I can just add goalkeeper, pull, right? Honestly, I just need more monsters on the field. I'll come in and oh, I didn't take damage. Oh, that's true. This one, Papa pa Papa Bedelia. What does Papa Bedelia do? Baguska is so good against these fusion decks. Oh my god, you don't understand. He has one card. Uh this is amazing. Two tokens. And now I'm just gonna end my turn, man. This is so good. This is the next turn is gonna be ridiculous. 
like ridiculous. So, uh, quick effect: you can remove one counter from this card, special level four, insect monster from graveyard defense. Switch back to defense. Sorry, like I'm, I'm sorry. Like, Baguska is too strong against Invoked. Like, very strong. Wow. Yes, actually, Papa Bedelia effect, of course. All right, guys, here we go. Here we go. Come on, cocoon, 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 cocoon. Oh, foolish burial. Actually, Papa Bedina's effect. We get to discard Resonance Insects. Basically, get to equip one of the dudes to it. Oh, it doesn't trigger? Oh, it sends them to the field to the graveyard. Travel back these three guys to the grave, and then we get Ballpark again. Oh, come on. Let me draw Cocoon. Oh, Parasite Paranoid. Let's go Battle Phase. Beat down this. I'll make Avermax. Activate Resonance to search the ultimate great mod. All right, guys. Avermax is a huge, huge wall. I was playing on the boo. But next turn, we're going for the kill. Okay, guys. We're going for the ultimate kill. Oh, Pot of Avarice. What the heck? Holy macaroni. Smokeroni. What the heck? Come on. Ultra Cocoon Evolution will be insane right now. Guys, this Weevil strategy is going really well. That giant ballpark with... Uh, 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 what's it called? The the Pico the Guile? Oof, that's insane. Pico, Pico the Guile is just absolutely insane, guys. You don't even understand. Alistair, go with the defense, baby. Sorry, Alistair. Sorry, bruh. You think, what, what's this guy thinking? Sorry. No invocation today, baby. Come on, here we go, here we go, here we go. Draw. Oh, terraforming. Okay, we're gonna activate Foolish Burial. Maxi. Holy smokes, this guy's stalling for his life. And then we'll activate Gogeful's effect to search Retaliating Sea. Add Retaliating Sea. And then I'm just gonna go to battle phase. I'm gonna normal summon a parasite paranoid. They'll go to defense. And now I'll end my turn. That's pretty much it. I know this is taking quite a while, guys, but I'm trying to set up as many big insect monsters uh, as much as possible right here. Oh, geez, Louise. This, we'll just activate giant ballpark. Summon the sea squatter. Is parasite paranoid gonna trigger off its effect? Oh, how come it didn't trigger off its effect? Okay, whatever. We'll activate paranoid, equip it to it. Normal summon retaliating C. Oh, I need the Pico the Pico the Gaio, man. Shinobi Insect. Activate. One, two. This one will summon Ultimate Great Moth. Summon Moth right here. Retaliating C is gonna search an insect monster. You get to search Max C. Amazing. Ballpark triggers. Yeah, this is the game. Wow. 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 This deck is too good, bro. Too good. Too good. Yep. Ultimate Moth is finishing this. Wow. We won the word strategy is amazing, guys. We did the impossible. We made sure that we don't even summon perfectly Ultimate Moth using its own effect, but we cheated with Parasite, Parasite, par Parasite. Ultimate Great Moth! Use your Moth Poison! Attack! Come on! Come on! GG no re, baby. Maguska best card in the game. Like, this, this is it. This is it. This is the Ultimate Insect Strategy. This is, this is it. Weevil is the best character in the world.